Let's go. This is like my first vlog, I guess. This is a vlog. The bass have been hard to follow this year because it gets cold and then it warms right up. It gets cold and it warms right up. And for me, it's like the same thing. I, I get out my ice fishing gear, I put it away and get my bass stuff. I put my bass stuff away and get out my ice fishing gear, put it away and get my bass stuff. It just keeps happening. I'm going through this transition and it's just crazy. I just want to fish. I got a wet a line, so I got an idea. I'm going to do a vlog. Today the problem was too much ice to put the boat in or just do any open water fishing and not enough ice to stand on. So I got to make a little cruise, probably 25 minutes, and I think I know where there's some ice and I can. I know where there's a place I can fish at least. Okay, my uh, Geek Pro Action Cam ran out of memory. My little tripod uh, that this camera that I'm holding's on, the little tripod snapped. And there's, there's always uh, filming issues. I'm almost there. Hey guys, one of the best tools in my ice fishing tackle box is my AquaView camera. Whether you just drop it down to see what the bottom looks like, to see if there's green veggies, or to see if there's fish down there, the AquaView camera is a great aid in ice fishing. I did see a Whoa. Dude. There's like... There's millions of them. I'm, yeah, I know. <laughs> I see them on the TV. That's crazy. They're up high. So I just got a little tungsten micro jig on there, dropped it down to the bottom. It's only about five feet deep. And I'm gonna jig it through the water column. It's loaded with fish. Loaded with bait. So they got plenty to eat already. Imagine the people that that uh, buy shiners and fish here. Without the TV, you don't know there's 10 billion shiners down there. So this is kind of like flipping for bass. I can flip it over to that hole right there. Same depth. Put it down. Pretty cool. Fill it up. Flip it over that hole right there. Put it down. This marina can be loaded with all kinds of fish. This is off of the Connecticut River, so there's pike in here, there's bass, there's crappies, there's a lot of uh, pond shiners sunfish and perch but today I'm really learning something because today the whole area is full of regular river minnows which is is unusual I've never really seen this in here so it's pretty cool
<laughs> oh my gosh. That's three fish anyway. Whoa, is that one even smaller? Good bait. All perch. There he is. Oh, a better one. Look at this one. Whoa. There we go. How about that one? Downsize it to this uh, tiny bloodworm jig. It's like a sunny how it is. I want to catch that sunny, I see. Come on, Sonny. Oh, yeah. huh. oh, I scared him. All right, now quiet. Hey guys, the reels you see me using in this video are straight line reels. They're perfect for micro jigging because the line won't develop line twists like it would from a traditional spinning reel. The shiners would like to eat it. And with the aid of my AquaView camera, I can see exactly what my offering looks like underwater and adjust it accordingly to catch more fish. Okay. 